Be sure to watch this video very slowly and closely because we do have a giveaway implanted in this video. And we also have a few decent fish catches that I think you guys would enjoy. But thank you guys so much for clicking on this one. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. We started our day off at the old Parker's Kitchen gas station because you know I had to go in there and get me a Bang Energy drink and also a protein cookie because we got to make them gains. On the way, I actually found a lucky penny. I, I, I don't really know if it was lucky, but then we were on our way to the old Walmart so we can build an amazing fishing kit while listening to Num Num Juice by Schoolboy Q. So then we pull up to the amazing Walmart so we can go make our amazing fishing kit and catch some big old bass. So the goal today is to build our own $10 Walmart tackle box and go fish with it. So that's what we're doing today. We're walking inside Walmart right now. We're gonna be grabbing the tackle. We're gonna be put it in it, put it, put it, put it. We're gonna be putting it in the tackle box. And then we're gonna be going and fishing with the lures that we buy today. So this is a little old budget challenge. I know you guys love the budget challenges. You guys love the last one. So we're gonna be doing it. But if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit the notification bell as well. And if you guys have been enjoying the content, be sure to like the video. Once I got in the Walmart fishing section, I got a little stressed out. There's too many lures, but I decided to go with the June Bug Lizard because those are juice. Got the Ultravide Speed Crawls because those are amazing as well. Got the June Bug Senkos, those are amazing. And then the Shiners, um, not really. But then I decided to get some more Senkos because those, I mean, what's the challenge without Senkos? Had to get my tackle box to put them all in. And then it ended up giving me some 94 cent bullet weights and then some old 4 eye EWG hooks. That's a must. And then we collected all of our tackle and decided to go check out. Well, we got the goods. Now it's time to head to my house, put all the tackle in the tackle box, and then finally go catch some fish. <laughs> hey, Bob. I'm at my house, I just pulled up. Alright, cool. I just pulled off 16. Alright. Well, so you're about to be at my house? Yeah. Cool. Alright, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, cool. Bye. June bug lizards. June bug yum dingers. Watermelon seed ultra vibe speed curls. Watermelon red yum dingers. Some bullet weights. Some cheap 4 eye EWG hooks. Our tackle box. And to add some spice to the challenge, we got a $1 rattle trap. And this is our amazing $15 do-it-yourself own tackle box. And I just broke it. Nice. Enjoy the sexy B-roll. All right, Alan, before we get this started, man, I gotta ask you a question. Ask away, man. So, out of every lure in this tackle box, what is your favorite? Also, I want you guys to comment below, out of all these baits in the tackle box, which one is you guys' favorite out of all of these? But, what's your favorite, Alan? Let me see, man, what do you have in here? So we got two different Senkos, we got a speed curl, we got a lizard, hooks and weights, obviously, and then a trap. So, um, what do you think out of all of them? I'm thinking about the June Bug. June Bug Senko. Senko. That's always the Old juice, standard. man. 
Oh all yeah, juice, guys. that always kills it. That always kills it. But I want you guys to comment below what's your favorite. So what are you gonna start off with? Uh, I would start off with the Senko, obviously, and uh, flip in some trees and see what we can get. What are you gonna start with? I think since you're starting off with the Senko, I think I'm gonna start off with a lizard. So I'm gonna start off with the June bug lizard. You're gonna start off with the June bug Senko, and we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna throw these on our Texas rigs and go catch some fish. All right, guys, we are about to get rigged up and get started. Got Alan Bob right here. He's got his Texas rig. I got my Texas rig. We are about to rig up and get this party started. First things first, got to rig our lizard. This is just a little simple Texas rig. So if that bot, we're just gonna simply do the little weedless deal. Little Texas rig. Push that up a little bit, slide the lizard on top. Then we're gonna weedless hook it. Line your hook up with it. Penetrate where the back end of it was. Bury the hook. And we are all good to go right there. This is my little lizard Texas rig. All right, boys and girls, we got our old lizard. We're about to start off in this corner, me and Alan Bob. We're gonna see what we can put together. The goal of this challenge is to catch a fish on every single one of these baits, every single one in the box. So that's our main goal. We're gonna catch more than one on each bait. I can already call it, but that is our goal at the end of the day, is to catch a fish on each and every single one of these lures. There's a pipe right here. Money. Oh, oh, you have one? <laughs> well, Alan's got the first bite of the day. Always a good sign. You just short strike it. Yeah, that bank drops off a little bit over there. Then we got this little drop off over here that I just threw in. There should be some fish down there. Oh, yeah, he's hitting me. Oh, he's got it. Yep. Holy crap. What did I just say, boys? I said that was money. I said that was money. Cast it in there. Just said there's a drop off there that we're dropping our lizard down in. Said he's about to hit it, and he hit it, baby. Right off the bat, man. We already got one. Alan almost had one. He's nothing much, man. He's a small guy, but we did get the lizard knocked off. I think I'm gonna throw it a few more casts. But what a beautiful little bass. Nothing big, but it is a pretty guy. Like I always say in my videos, you got to get a sexy release on the first fish. You got to treat him. There you go. We got our first fish of the day on the old lizard. I'm gonna throw it for a second longer. Let's see if we can catch another fish on it before I switch out the baits, but that is a good sign. There's just a little drop off over here, right off this bank. Um, you know, shallow up on this bank, it drops off right about here and these fish just stack up down in that when you drop a little texas rig or a worm or a lizard or a crawl any any finesse bait down there it can just be deadly and i was just simply dragging this thing wasn't doing much with it wasn't really hopping it a lizard has so much movement with the tail and the arms that i tend to just drag a lizard on the bottom i usually don't hop it or do much of that crazy stuff got the job done got the monkey off her back we're about to start catching some fish All right, we're about to flip some heavy cover. That is the best. Flipping heavy cover is so much fun. We should catch some fish on this. It really isn't a sunny day to where fish would stack up on this very, very good, but when you're in a pond where there's really not much cover at all, and you got some trees in the water like this, at all times there will be fish on this stuff. That is just a fact. Oh! Get him out. Oh! <laughs> Alan Bob. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you can come see it if you want. 
<laughs> hey, hey, buddy. Hey, hey. Yes. You call a fish? Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen nobody call a fish. Either. Really? I've been living here since it was no house here. Coco, stop it. <laughs> it's our second fish of the day. I no way. He's been out here for a few minutes. Yeah. My husband is going to be as down. Oh, I got to take a picture. Can I take a picture? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Come on, Coco. Mm. I'm going to bite your ass. Don't say that shit. Hey. <laughs> Alan Bob with his first fish. Heck yeah, bro. So that's a Junebug Senko done. Yep. Alan's famous and all, so he's got to get a picture taken by this young lady over here with her scary dog. But what a, what a nice fish, man. What a nice fish. He caught him in the middle of that thick cover right yeah. there. That was awesome. That was that that was exactly what we we're talking about. You flipped right in the middle yeah, too, didn't you? Right in the middle and he I thought it was a tree at first. Uh, he pulled back. He pulled back and he just had Heck it. Yeah, man. That's sweet. Game over. One arm, bro. I hook said that with one arm. Dude, literally, I went up straight with one arm and got him all the way out of there. <laughs> Guys, look at that. We got our third fish. He ain't nothing much, man. None of these fish are nothing much, but we're still hunting for those big ones. I flipped in that tree. I was telling Alan, I was like, how is there not another one in these trees? And he just picked it up. I sat it there for a minute. He picked it up. Just one arm hook sent. Wow. Got his butt out of there pretty little guy so we already have three of the five lures done with the challenge and we haven't even really started fishing yet guys I mean, we've only been out here for 10 minutes and already knocked three baits off the list pretty fish see you jimmy Alrighty, guys what are we gonna throw alan put the curl on but this is the only bait we haven't caught a fish on rather than the trap. We'll throw out a different pond. So I might as well put the curl on as well and we should just try to eliminate it. Keep it basic, keep it simple. Like I said, same old Texas rig. This is watermelon seed. And this guy, this baby right here should catch him. And we can reel this thing swimming on the top. We can do a little bit of everything with this. I made a video on that a while ago. But this bait will catch him for sure. Just made it to a new little pond, new little spot. And I'm going to try to catch one on top on this crawl. I'm going to try to reel it at the top and get one to blow up on it. We're going to do a little bit of top water action with a crawl. We'll still catch one on the bottom, but I feel like this is add a little shazam to the video. So we just threw it at the top, not a bite. Now let's throw it on the bottom right here and see if that makes a difference. Obviously it will. I think we're going to get slammed. There he is. Oh no, I bit me so quick, bro. He, he like loaded up on it just so fast. Well, there is a fish there. Oh, what? Was he big? Alan just missed a good one. What the heck? Let's see if this guy bite again. I, I'm pretty positive I, I didn't get a hook in him, so he should bite again. Alan missed one, I missed one. What the heck's going on with this crawl now? We gotta get the fish on the bank. Not wanting to all speak crawl. Maybe the color have something to do with it. But in my opinion, if you get it in front of their face, they, there he is. He broke me off. Hey. Look. Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous, man. He actually felt like a good one. Like the weight I felt when I lifted up. Uh, he felt good. I, I mean, I can't judge it, but he felt pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. I think the crawl's cursed, man. The crawl's definitely cursed. Was this is why we bought extra hooks and weights? Because you never know what's gonna happen when you're out here fishing. I don't know how I'm gonna cut this line. I'm not good at cutting it with my teeth, nor do I feel like I need to start that habit. But we're gonna rig a crawl back up. If you guys are wondering what knot I tie, I tie a standard uni knot. Is one of the strongest knots out there even stronger than the polymer which i know 99.9 percent .9 of you guys are using and there we go 
Simple uni knot. I have a video on that if you guys want to go watch that. I'm telling you, it is a stellar knot. See, guys, this bank right here. God, dog, what the? Did he come off? He came off. Dude, he... it was literally my first cast. We missed five fish on this crawl, dude. I don't know what's going on, but I'm just ready to get this crawl over with. What in the world, man? I didn't even have time to lift my rod. He was already pulling on me. He's a baby. Well, guys, this bank is pretty steep. It drops off. You know, these fish are just sitting right on the edge of this thing. They're stacked down there. They're not too big. I don't know, there could be some big ones. There's some bigger ones on this bank, but it drops off pretty steep, and these fish just stack on it really good. Let's see if there's some more. We've already missed about every fish in this pond, but we'll have to see if there's another. Oh, there he is. Look at him running. I got him that time. It's not a bad one. <laughs> Bro, it ain't even funny no more, man. That was like a two pounder, too. Are you kidding me? Guys, I, I, I used to, uh, to hype this bait up, but I don't even know if I can anymore. I just think it's bad luck. That is unbelievable, bro. And he knocked the dog crap out of it. They're loaded on this bank. Yeah. They're sitting on this drop off. They're like all stacked right here. I swore I had them too. I was like, yeah, let me just throw them on the bank real quick. Just, but no, let's just pull off. Let's piss no off. I'm telling you, throw right down this bank. It's a, it's a decently steep drop off. These fish are too smart in this pond. They know exactly how to get off. All I want to do is get this crawl knocked off, dude. That's all I want to do. Nothing more but just to get this dang crawl over with. I'm gonna freaking run it like a top water down on this bank. Literally gonna catch a top water crawfish. <laughs> Alan, I'm about to freak out, bro. I I'm literally about, that's like seven fish in a row we just missed. And he exploded on it like a top water. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gents, we got to our new spot. Watch, we're gonna end up catching this crawfish like right away. <laughs> I already see it happening. I feel like it was the bad luck pond. Maybe not the crawl, but it's the pond. I'm gonna reel this to the top on this bank real quick. See. Yeah. I got him. Oh, stay on, stay on. <laughs> he ate it like a top water. That is just a baby guy, but he freaking smashed this guy like a top water. Look at that, a little beautiful little bass, a little thick fatty, and the crawl is over with. Now we just have the rattle trap. So we got the old glorious pipe, which I've caught the same fish almost every time. I wonder if it's gonna be the same fish this time, because I know we're gonna catch one on it. I'm letting Alan Bob take the shots. We're gonna reel the crawl at the top of the water. And see if he'll hit it like a top water. Will he do it? I get like a better angle. Like I'd stand like right here, the right past it. I don't know. He might not eat it like a top water. You might have to flip it in there, but yeah, I don't know if they're gonna eat it like a top water. Well, heck, I don't know, man. I guess I'm gonna grab my pole and give it a try myself. Went to my truck, grabbed a rod. I'm gonna be tying on this trap, which is honestly our final bait. We we technically already completed the challenge because the trap I kind of just threw in there is something I had. But, you know, we got to catch fish on the trap, too. So we're going to tie this bad boy on this mini $1 trap. It should get much today, especially with the conditions being cloudy outside. Those fish are roaming a little bit more. It's actually about to rain, so the pressure's dropped. And these fish should be munching. They should kill this trap, but I'm not going to speak before it happens. We're going to give it a try. Fan cast out here. Maybe hook a good one because there's some big fish in this pond. Let's go ahead and get out there. Guys, we're so close to completing this challenge. It's actually about the rain. We just gotta catch a fish on this trap, ideally. And I'd like to catch a few more on the slow moving baits just to you know, add some more fish catch just to this old killer video. But man, we gotta catch this trap fish. There he is, bro. I got him. 
I gotta keep him on. I gotta keep him on. He's not big, dude, but I, I this will complete the challenge, baby. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Ah! <laughs> oh, he's so small, too. Oh my god, he's so small. You understand how hard we worked for this fish? Mission completed. Challenge complete, baby. Challenge complete. That was so hard with that trap. I never would have thought that the baby trap would have been so hard to catch a fish. We just got a lunker on it. These gnats are freaking horrible, bro. They're biting me everywhere. But what a lunker to end it right there. But guess what? We might hit another place. I'm going to talk to Alan Bob about it. What do you think about You know what place I'm talking about? I'm not going to say it on camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We could try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we might try a big fish hole with the with like the crawls and everything. Man, we completed the challenge, guys. 100% completed it. Little guy saved the day. I cannot believe that trap didn't get bit, though. But uh, I think we're going to pack up our stuff right here. Then we're going to head to our last location, baby. We are going to switch up our little Texas rigs. Alan Bob's going to put a lizard on. I'm going to put an old Senko on. You got him, big? Oh my God, Alan. Get him over to me, get him over to me. <laughs> Dude, this is a solid three and three quarter. Where'd you catch him at? It's that bed fish, bro. He was on the bed? Yep. Holy crap, man. Here. Dude, that is a freaking fatty. That's what we've been waiting for all day. They've been all small. And that's what I was talking about. You know, we come here, we see if we can get one bite and it's just a good one like that. Hold him sideways. Oh, that's such a good fish, man. So pretty in this water. The color of these fish yep. here. Super fat. He was right off that bed that we saw right when we came here. And what a good fish, Alan. Good job, bro. Heck yeah. You guys made it this far in the video first of all i like to say thank you guys so much and second of all you guys are lucky because you're about to get some free tackle so you guys know i made this walmart 10 or 15 dollar tackle box here today and you know it's cool and all it has a bunch of killer baits in there that obviously catches fish but i want to get back to you guys and give this away so the steps to enter this is be subscribed to the channel so hit that subscribe button there's also a notification bell right next to the subscribe button it looks like a little bell icon Make sure you press that as well, that's a requirement. Leave a comment below on your favorite bass fishing lure and also leave a like on this video. Um, but I would like to say in the last fishing kit video, I haven't announced the winner. So I'll pop your name up on the screen right now. Congratulations. Be sure to send me a message on my at Noah Pescatelli Instagram account. Not kicking their bass TV, but at Noah Pescatelli on Instagram. Send me a DM, show proof that you own the account, and I'll get the address from you, and I will ship you out the old box. And this is for the other video, but same thing with this, but I'm probably gonna announce a winner. I don't know, I usually wait like a week, week and a half to announce the winners. I'll let people load up on the video, but overall guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have not subscribed already, I don't know what the heck you're doing. You need to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well. And also, like the video. Thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much, and I will catch you in the next video.